Call this meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on this uh, 12th day of March 2018 at 5 p.m. First thing, I want to ask Brother Glennie Gary to come forward and lead us in a prayer and a pledge to the flag. Our Heavenly Father, we bow to thee tonight. We're asking you, Lord, to look down upon these uh, men and women here today, Lord, that to guide our country and to guide our, our county. We pray, Lord, that you'll be with them in every decision that's going to be made. And we also pray, Lord, that you be with the, with the county itself and, Lord, and even the Sheriff's Department, every bit of it, Lord, we're asking you to guide them and direct them, keep them from harm. And also, dear Lord, look down upon the election coming over. We're coming to us pretty soon. We pray, Lord, that you'll uh, be with us through that. And we pray, Lord, that as time goes on and things go on, we pray, dear Lord, that our hearts won't be hurt and our feelings won't be hurt but we'll be lifting you up and giving you thanks for what we have, God, in our lives. So be with this meeting, for it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge, pledge allegiance to the, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's his name? Hey, Walt, I was fixing to come and let Thank you, you in. Thank you, Brother Glennie. Um, you look like I want to just recognize someone that's here with us. Uh, Sandy Simpson from uh, Congressman uh, Jamie Comer's office is here. Just raise your hand so they see who you are. So, we've got a little bit of Washington here tonight. Uh, before you, gentlemen, you have the uh, April the 1st meet, uh, minutes. Uh, to have a motion to approve. Motion. Motion by Jason. Second. Second by Sam. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed aye. Uh, like sign. Motion carries. Before you, you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers as prepared in writing by our uh, treasurer. And I've reviewed them. Uh, I've asked for a motion to approve <coughs> Motion by Larry Cam. Second. Second by Joe Barnes. Any discussion? Uh, being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Polls, <coughs> like sign. Bills, claims, payments, and transfers are approved. You have the uh, treasurer's financial report for uh, February. We need to recognize that we got that. Move to acknowledge. Motion by Larry Cam. Second. Second by Sam Small. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Next, you have the second reading of Budget Amendment 2018-2. Uh, two meetings ago, you did approve the first reading of that. So, do I have a motion to approve the second reading? Refresh my memory. What is the eighty thousand? What was that project? <coughs> it was a bridge project. So that was a bridge. Okay. Okay. That's Just right. some balancing out that we needed to do on the budget. Well, the same thing we approved four weeks ago. Which so moved. Motion by Larry Cam. Second. Second, Sam Small. Now discussion. So what are we going to do with the eighty thousand? You said. What are we um, doing? The two bridge projects we paid for last fiscal year and got the money in this fiscal year. And that money will go towards the equipment note, the balloon note we have at First United to pay it off. Right. Which is on equipment. Yes, road department equipment. Yeah. So, <coughs> how much was it for it? 200,000. Do we pay it fully off? No. Well, we have this is 155,000, 156, or something like that. Uh, We've got about 160. I think we'll have some left over okay. in some accounts to pay it off. Okay. Go ahead and roll call then. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. 
Cam. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Don't see Bess, but we have her uh, her report here. I'll make her it. February financial report. I'll acknowledge the acceptance of her report, February. Motion by Jason Bullock. I'll second it. Second by Joe Barnes. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. That motion carries. Those, uh, we, we have acknowledged that we received Bess's report. Of course, the subject audit. Now I want Chase and Justin to tell us about these uh, the papers we need to, to do for the grant we got for the for the uh, trails. Yeah, this is the uh, is this on. This is the last bit of housekeeping we need to do to <coughs> activate that recreational trails grant, the sixty-five thousand dollars that we were granted by the state. Um, they require that we grant DLG, the Department for Local Government, easements on the county property that's being used to construct these access points. Uh, Justin has looked over them and, and put in all the, the pertinent language concerning the county, uh, so we just need you all to authorize David to execute them and I'll give them to you. Is this where you're talking about making The Dundee Narrows Bridge uh, off Rough River Lane and Dundee off the Sunnydale Road Bridge, Combs Bridge, um, below the Hartford boat ramp, okay. and not very much. It's all, yeah. all, all access for your kind. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to accept. Motion by Jason Bullard. I'll second it. Second by Joe Barn. Any discussion or questions for Justin or Chase? How many access? How many? Six. Six, okay. Yeah. And this is for a, <coughs> this is for easement and a restriction. Yeah, it's already a public right of way. They just want certain restrictions in our use since we got government. What, what, kind, of restriction? what kind of restriction? It basically, it means if you look at, Justin has a copy of, of those documents. It's, it it's basically saying that, that they'll be kept open for public use. You know, we're not going to make them private. Yeah. Um, that we're not going to discriminate against anyone, you know, regardless, uh, you know, anyone regardless of their race or gender, so on and so forth, is going to be able to use the access points, things like that. Okay. And uh, that motion authorized me to sign those documents. Did you get that? Mm -hmm. uh, any other discussion? Bing, then go ahead and roll call. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Town? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Thank you. Motion carried. Bring me the papers tomorrow and I'll sign. All right. Well, he's, he's got them right here. Yeah, we probably got them there, Judge. Okay. okay. We'll take care of it. Um, we had an oversight in our uh, haste. We all said we was going to buy a snow plow from the state when we went and picked up the oil distributor for $500, but it was left out of the language of the motion. So if we still want that snow plow from the state for $500, we need to go ahead and make a motion to purchase it. So moved. Yes, yes sir. <coughs> motion by uh, Larry Morphew and second by Larry Kemp. Oh, we had it in there, but I yeah. mean, I don't now, did the money is the money still there, or we have to put five hundred dollars more? Because I thought it was all in the motion. No, it was not. I thought it was. Oh, I, we we intended to, but we did. Was there an extra five hundred dollars in there, or is that was completely left out? Five hundred. Five hundred was that was completely left out. We talked yeah. about one to do it, but then when it come time to vote to do it, we then uh, I actually thought we could just take a purchase order for that small amount, but the state they want their check. <coughs> Any further discussion? So all we're doing is adding language to a purchase a snow plow with additional $500. Yes. Authorizing me to write the check. Yes. I'll make the motion for that if you need the motion. Do we already got a motion and second? Larry and Larry. He could be a rubber brother first. Uh, Larry, Larry, and Daryl. Uh, no, that's not the way around. Yeah. No, that's, that's close. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. Brenda's not here. Who's going to present her thing? I am. Yeah. Okay. 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 Brenda Renfro, her. Uh, one of the four escapes out there blowed up. We deemed it not uh, worth saving. 
So we sold, we declared surplus and sold it on government deals. Um, and now that she does need that for the mail route, she has it in her budget and has found one at Southern Auto Sales for the amount of $7,300. Like I said, it's in her budget and she wants to buy it. And I would go ahead and make that motion that we do, let her do it. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. She's got the uh, money in her budget for the, <coughs> for the vehicle. Yes. We, we, uh, we've we got a motion a second. So, uh, you know, any further discussion? By the way, y'all got a picture up there. It's really. I thought it would be. I'd rather have been white than match the others than the three. That makes three escapes relatively close to the same age. Uh, okay, go ahead and roll call it. Barnes. How, how many miles did we get? How's those escapes holding up? That one had, that one that just transmission went out of, and it had some pain issues. It had 230, does that sound like 230,000? Uh, usually they go a little more than that. We're looking at another 100,000. And on the mail route, it should be a long time. Yes. Johnston? Yes. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Uh, that motion carries. On the agenda there, we've got written Hidden Valley Road, but we're not ready to do anything with it tonight. It's in Joe's district, and uh, it given the easements and conditions to somebody to sign for a my bill district, out. Judge. Big part? It's my district. Hidden Valley's in my district. I know, but it's not. It's, we got the wrong name there. Oh, what is the name of it, Joe? Hideaway. Hideaway. And, uh, and uh, we do not have any paperwork back. We need easements and... Uh, uh, Unless y'all are doing something on Hidden Valley tonight. No, no, it, it, it was Miss Brand. It's your brother. No, it's your No. We thought that uh, we'd be ready to take that in tonight, but we're not. Next item on the agenda is Tamerlane Industries. Which all of you know, 501c3. Uh, once we owned the place, the building, and all the time we owned it, we maintained the little road going into it. Uh, right now, they need some pothole patching on it. Which, if the county still owned the building, it'd be no problem. I thought since it doesn't, 5013c were perfectly legal to do it. But I thought with uh, with the circumstances, I want to bring to the court to get that passed by the court for uh, Keith to send a pothole patcher out when he can. Which road is that? Is it the one going it, up the side and on the uh, you look on the right or both sides? Both sides. Right. Now we're talking about pothole patching, or are we talking about going out there and actually patching? Now, as far as I'm concerned, we're talking about pothole patching. That's all I would say. Why are we why are we on this? subject of pothole patching and I, I would like to ask Keith and the road department if they would uh, as soon as these uh, as soon as weather permitting and these holes dry up and we got two machines if we can have them out there every possible day and maybe even with the approval of the court possibility of some some of the guys want to work Saturdays we have got a tremendous amount of potholes here in the county the state has as well but now we the chip and seal roads have, have kind of take a beating this year as far as potholes is concerned, but I would ask you to keep, keep, if you could keep that in mind. Well, if the weather permits, they'll be out there every day. It has to be uh, a certain amount of dryness to it. But any day that's that way, we're going to have both running, right, Keith? Yes. Even Saturday. Just as quick as we can get a mechanic. I have to have a mechanic working on things, and Steve is my mechanic. Well, we... What, whatever it takes, we, Dennis has to go back on it. Whatever it takes, we can run. How extensive are these bottles? Six, have you looked at them, Keith? Have you driven up there? I don't want to. I don't want to prove something, and then it turns out it's so bad that pr pretty next thing we're out there chipping it. No, no, we would just send the pothole patching machine. What do you think, Keith? I've got a question. If uh, is this a, a business we'd be doing it for, or is that opening ourselves up for? It's a five hundred one c three, meaning it's a. It's they do good for the community. They're not a for-profit agency. They're not for-profit, never have been. 
I, and I, I'm not clear. I, sir, I don't have a problem with it other than last year we done chip and seal uh, within the city and, and, and the county roads uh, took a second uh, right. second fiddle to it. And I'm guessing, I'm guessing that it would take no more than four hours. I just, Fifth District's got some of the worst potholes and I've just got a problem with doing for something and letting up. Have you looked at it, Keith? Yeah. Really, are not bad. It's uh, how long do you think it take? Probably, it won't take probably two hours. Sure. It's not bad. But what you have to look at when you're with the potholes patcher, if it's real windy, okay, it blows your oil into your radiator. You can't do it whenever it's windy. When you got water standing in the holes, you can't do it. Right. When you got snow in the holes, you can't do it. Yeah. You can do it, but it won't stay in with a key. Exactly. I just didn't want to get this escalating to <coughs> next thing yeah. we was out there. It won't take three down the road. <coughs> Could, do I have my for Tamerlane? If it's just a two hour project, we don't need a motion, Judge. Just gotta be okay. Second. Uh, uh, okay, let's go ahead and do it just so we, they'll know we're all, we're, we're all for it. Who seconded it? I don't know. I did. Yeah. Jason, said, uh, Jason made the motion and Sam seconded They do it, they mean. I've worked with them hiring families in my community and through the school and stuff, and they do help a lot of people in the community get jobs. They do do that. They do do that. Okay. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Anybody opposed say no. Motion carries. Keith, go ahead and put that on your list and call Richard Goodall tomorrow and tell him you'll be there when you can. Okay. Uh, Next is something that y'all really love. You're gonna to get to do it every four years. The elected officials that the court has to set the uh, salaries for, which includes the magistrates, the, the uh, county uh, county attorney, coroner. Who else am I leaving out? We do the jailers too. Yeah. Okay, jailer. Since we have a life safety jail, we do it. And uh, that's got to be done. If anybody wants to bring it up to discussion tonight, we can. What I had in mind, I like the uh, finance committee or the wage scale committee. I'm sorry. The wage scale committee to meet but prior to the next court meeting and make a recommendation. But see, that's where the jailer's got to be behind for it. We, we do set up. I was wondering why the jailer is not going along with the clerks and the uh, judge. It's not it's not a they should be. It should be. It's, 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 it's one of those things that's not right, but we've got to deal with it. Uh, they've, made, they've thrown the uh, life safety jails in the pot with the no jails, the counties that don't have them. And so that throws that office of jailer's salary to be set by the court. And that's where y'all run into. I wasn't on the court at the time, but Larry County, you were on it. Y'all run into the issue where the jailer didn't get brought up on a reasonable basis, and y'all had to offset like a seventeen thousand dollars raise. Didn't you? I think maybe we ought to look into that. That's the one other thing that I mean. Uh, there, there are some guidelines. Yeah. There's some guidelines what to say. But you have to say. Mm -hmm. So can you have that? You're on that committee. Right? Maybe. No, Which Joe committee? Wait. Wait scale. Yeah. Could you make Renetta would have that McKinley we meeting we before the next court meeting and make some comments or some guidelines to the court? Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking if we don't look into the jail or what was going to end up happening is we're yeah. going to end up messing yeah. up just like we did. We all need to have a big offset of yeah. like so many years down the road on on that position. And of course you'll bring Renetta and anyone else you want to bring into their Joe, uh, that no we will send them a letter. Sam's also on it. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, both of y'all on it, and then if you need anybody else, well, we'll write them a letter to them. Okay. All right. And if you need any statistics, get with uh, Renetta before May so she can get them for you. Yeah. Um, next, we need to go into a uh, short closed session. Um, and I hope it's short. Uh, one for possible litigation and one for uh, personnel, KRS 61.810, uh, section C and F. 
Do I have a motion to do so? Motion to Larry Cannon. Second. Second to Sam Small. Everybody in favor, join me back here. Uh, Joe, I'm on that. Motion to Sam to go back in the uh, open session. Second to Jason Bullock. Everybody uh, sits down and says yes. We're back in open session. I quote for the record. Uh, sorry, it was not a short session. But the only things we did discuss was, uh, was personnel. Including wage, wages of personnel and also uh, uh, a contractual uh, situation that could uh, become litigation. So we discussed that in there. Uh, you'll hear the action on some of the things that we discussed there as we make the next few motions. Or it, as I put them up. Uh, first up, put up Jesse Bays. Custodian maintenance for the courthouse at ten dollars an hour, effective three fourteen. Roll call. Barnes. Yes. Johnston. Yes. Cown. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. That one's hot. At the golf course, put up Lane Romero as a course helper at seven 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 dollars and seventy five cents an hour. Is an open position. But it and begins on third and the fourteenth of two thousand eighteen. It is in the budget. Go call. Barnes. Yes. Johnston. Yes. Cown. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. <coughs> Next up. Next up. I need that. Next up, at the road department as a operator, we put up Gerald Addington. At fourteen eighty an hour, in an open position, it was <coughs> advertised. Effective three fourteen uh, eighteen, and uh, it's a previous experience hire at level one. Roll call. Barnes. Yes. Johnston. Yes. Cown. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Next. I'll hand you this after I get to this region. Next we heart. Next name we put up is for mechanic at the road department at the rate of full time at the rate of eighteen dollars an hour. It's open position. Effective date of hire is three fourteen eighteen. And uh, name I put up is Seth Mattingly at the mechanic. Like I said, eighteen dollars an hour. And this is pen, this hire is pending an interview with the judge executive. And approval and uh, any ordinance or wage scale is amended to reflect this hire at this rate effective uh, uh, this day 2018. Barnes. Uh, I've presented a incentive program to the core and this was part of it but we're not bringing the, uh, the whole incentive program in at this time and with not bringing it all in at the same time I'm a no. Johnston? Yes. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. B Bullock? Yes. That is higher. Okay, that's, that's all the personnel issues that we had in there. I, need, I have something I want to read you now. Won't be motioning on this. Uh, we have a, a a nice card here from uh, uh, OCTC, and I want to sign uh, read this to you. It was a pleasure to see you last week at the Industry Innovation Center ribbon cutting. Thank you for being a part of this momentous occasion. We are truly excited to have the opportunity to offer our students and workforce training in this state of the art facility. Thank you for your contribution in making this possible. It could not have been done without the support of Ohio County Fiscal Court. I appreciate all of you for higher education and on behalf of the Orangeboro Community and Technical College facility staff and students, I thank you for your continued support of the Orangeboro Community and Technical College. Sincerely, Scott Williams, PhD, President.
Next, uh, who's willing to present this from the Sheriff's Department for us at the surplus? No. Okay, we just have it presented in right. He wants to declare surplus a 2011 Dodge Ram uh, 1500 and this is from the drug fund. Do we do these individual? We do them all the time. Okay. Then we have a 2003 Crown Victoria Ford. And now this is one that we bought back in 2011 from the deputies that was there at that time. It's a 2003 model, not much left of it. Uh, it's been a detective car for a while. But anyway, uh, I'll make that motion. I need a second. Second, is that the only two items uh, put up for surplus? <coughs> yes. Do you second? Second by Larry Cam. Any more further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. And uh, uh, would you be able, Ann, to give us a report on the uh, items that you declared surplus? And we sold on governmentdeals.com. Um, the escape sold for five hundred dollars. The mower was a hundred and thirty dollars, I believe. And the ambulance that was wrecked and totaled, and we were going to take to the scrapyard for maybe five hundred dollars. Somebody from California bought it for ten thousand. They're coming to get it tomorrow. Oh, yeah, being from California, they explain a lot. Right there. <laughs> we, we may go out and buy some and just sell them. Again. <laughs> it did look good in the pictures. Cool. Well, I, didn't, I didn't realize it was been wrecked and totally. <coughs> I thought it was an old one, 1986 yeah. they, model. They do something and make it an all-terrain vehicle. Yeah. And probably they rent it out for a $1,000 a day. But I, I, didn't, I didn't realize this one had been wrecked and totally. Yeah. Okay, do, do we have any committee reports? Uh, the, <coughs> the finance committee met today and we talked about several issues that uh, we're still looking into some uh, more information on and we'll be uh, getting back to the court as we get closer to the end of the budget. Good deal. The animal control, we met last Wednesday, we're going to meet this Wednesday and the next Wednesday from 3.30, starting at 3.30, I don't know any time yet, but tomorrow and uh, next Wednesday at 3.30. Good deal. Appreciate y'all worked really hard, and I appreciate that. Dr. St. Clair, Kenny Autry, help Jason, as well as uh, others. I know I'm leaving out people, but I know those folks have all worked really hard on that committee. Any other committee reports? Um, I would like to have a uh, committee with all the magistrates on it and Ann. Uh, <coughs> To meet at four o'clock before the next meeting. To I want to talk to you about budget. We don't have a budget to present to you. We just want to talk about. It. So uh, let's meet at four o'clock prior to the next court meeting. Next court. Next court. Twenty-seven. Yeah, twenty-seven. Keith, do we need to have a road committee meeting sometime? But we didn't find on that with all the issues on the roads. Can you do it the first one in April? Mm -hmm. okay. Because I want to get to talk to you all about this all together. So that uh, so that can't be construed I told one one thing or another or another, I'd rather say it all at one time. Uh, any other committee reports being none? Let's go to Matthew's comments. Let's start with Sam Small. I have nothing to do with you. Jason. Not right now. Joe. I've got two. We got a waste tire amnesty days coming up March 15th, 16th, and 17th. Yes. And uh, just want to make sure everybody knows they can bring the tires. They can get with any questions, they can call Charlie or, um, or, the, or the courthouse here. Or is not that, courthouse, but community Joe, center. Joe, is that being run in the paper? You want the paper? I, I'm not for sure. I, I was, think I it's think something we probably ought to uh, get the word out. Almost positive it is. It's on Facebook. It's on Facebook. I'm pretty much sure it's on the paper too. Well, it, it's too late to run on the paper. I know, but I'm pretty sure. 50. So it's this. I'm pretty sure it was. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was. 
And in the others, we've got several roads that we've got some issues on. We've got some roads that's been kind of closed temporarily while we're uh, addressing water issues uh, due to the disaster, I guess you'd say, that the state has kind of considered, considered it. And we're waiting to get back from FEMA, is that correct? On what they're going to pay and where we're going to be at on before we finalize on what we're going to do on the fixes on these projects and just want to make that known uh, there's one on Pond Run Church and then there's one on uh, Horace, Martin. Horace Martin Loop that I definitely know that's in my district and I believe some of the other ones have some so just wanted to I want the people to realize that we are addressing the issue but it's going to take a little bit I don't think we're going to wait on Horace Martin at all Joe I think the goal on it and we know what's got to be fixed and fix it and on the other one all that I would like to do is if you look at that plan and see if that's the best we're going to do. I mean, it's got to be fixed. And I don't see any reason waiting. We've got to fix it whether we get famous money or not. I think we will. But I want you to look and see if that's the minimum we can do to make it work. So if we're talking 100 grand on that road, if that's the cheapest we can do, that's what we do. But if there's a cheaper way, we need to look at it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just want to get back to the potholes again. The court doesn't have any problem with us uh, utilizing our uh, help on Saturday. Even if they overtime, we don't have any problem. With court members. We don't even do that. But on the Saturday, most generally, <coughs> the weather has not been, you know. No, you're going to have some more interesting weather for it's all. I'm ready for it. <laughs> good weather. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm all for that, Larry. We've got potholes there for it. Okay. That's all. <coughs> good deal. I just want to thank the road department. They, they run to death. I mean, we've got so many miles of roads and all. My request would be all them Saturdays stay in the 5th District. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I tell you what, that's not a bad request. They, they, they mostly did. Uh, well, right now we're spending time down in 3rd, but most like most time we are up there. Uh, I thought they were going to disregard that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but anyway, um, if anybody, uh, Justin, you have anything else? No, thank you, Judge. Uh, anybody from the general public have anything for the good of this body? Being none, we are adjourned. Oh, God.